What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Locked In with Trey. And today we are going to discuss, is it hard to take care of locks? This is a cool topic and an important topic. So you already know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to Locked In with Trey. Stay tuned and stay locked. Now, this topic is mainly for beginners because let's face it, only beginners are going to ask the question, is it hard to start locks or not or take care of locks or not? So this is for you beginners out there in the world. Now, to make a long story short, and this is not written in any stone, you know what I mean? You ain't going to be able to find this. This is 100% my opinion. I feel like it is not hard. This is one of the easiest hairstyles that you can have. It's one of the freest hairstyles that you can have and do just about anything you want with it when you go the distance now. And that is me speaking. Locked in with Trey, your boy. You can trust me. I'm certified. I got the stamp. Bow. Got it. I mean, I'm not blue check certified, but you know, I've been in the game for like a year now and I can say that proudly. I got the stripes. You see? I got the stripes. You see what I'm saying? You see the red tips? But to answer your question again, no, it is not hard to take care of locks. And it's really a to each his own thing because you got to think about it. What type of person are you? Are you somebody who's good with patience or do you lack in that area of patience? Because that's the one thing about having locks, period, that you're going to need. You're going to need patience unless you go to folk lock, a.k.a. the fake locks. And you know what I'm saying? But you're still going to have to have some type of patience for your natural hair to lock up in the first place. But other than that, taking care of locks is a breeze you feel me it's a breeze especially if you go the 100 percent natural way that means not a whole bunch of product not a whole bunch of accessories and hair dyes and all that other stuff that could cause your hair to malfunction and grow incorrectly and all that stuff you know what i mean that can happen frying dreads you know what i'm saying like a skillet painting dreads doing all the things that you can do that you've seen people do that's dope now don't get me wrong you know the dye your tips and bleach your hair and do all that stuff that's in that's the new trend everybody doing it they got dreads and i know y'all see a lot of celebrities doing it and people y'all love that got dreads doing it so hey don't get me wrong it's that's dope that's dope but it can lead to your hair malfunctioning because it's a lot of chemicals going in your hair that your hair really don't need and can live without but for the sake of trend and fashion and all that stuff do you bro do you sister you d but back to patience that's all you're gonna need to take care of locks especially in the beginning stages you the beginner i'm talking to you if you are beginning your dreads the only thing you need to be worried about is making sure your dreads don't unravel everything else is a breeze you don't have to worry about your dreads getting moldy or anything like that because they're so short that you know what i'm saying they air out you go outside and boom they drop with a little wiggle room of hair type you know what i'm saying because some people hair dry faster than other people based on hair type so figure out your hair type and then come back to this conversation anyway yes you don't have to worry about too many things like somebody like me i would have to be careful that i don't have any mold in my head any product that built up and grew into my dreads causing it to have white spots and all that which i don't thank goodness but yeah when you get up in the lock game there's a whole bunch of other stuff that you have to worry about but you've already committed and of course you've learned a lot of stuff along the way to know if it's easier not to take care of dreads by the time you reach my level a year a year a month or two years in you know by then you're no longer in the beginning stages trying to figure out this topic so Yes, it is not hard to take care of dreadlocks. So if you hear people say that it's hard to take care of dreadlocks, it's based on the person and the person's opinion, period. Not everybody is cut from the same cloth. Not everybody has the same dreads. Just get that out your system. Get that on out your lock vocabulary. Throw it in the trash, please. Which brings me to another thing. Be mindful of who you listen to when they're talking about their lock journey or when they started locks and they don't have locks anymore and the reason they didn't keep locks and all this whole shebang and whole nine yards, you know what I mean? Especially if they didn't last a full year. If they only lasted a few months and they like, man, yes, I tried locks. I, it wasn't for me. I couldn't keep up with the maintenance and all this. It wasn't never made for them. I'm talking to you ride or die lock people in the lock family welcome to locked in with trey we gonna get it in locked in gd have you hit the subscribe button yet go ahead i'll wait it's right there i'm pointing at it right there yep i think that's right yeah it's right there go ahead 
Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. You, you get All right. Cool. No, but for real though, guys and girls, growing locks and taking care of locks is one of the easiest hairstyles that you can actually have. So to hear anything else other than what I'm telling you about it, throw it away. Throw it away. This is Lock Nation. This is Locks All Day. Dreadlocks, which really ain't dreadful. They're locked. I'm trying to stop calling them dreadlocks because I understand the whole history about dreadlocks and we're going to try to keep them at locks. You know what I'm saying? Let's call them locks. You know, luscious locks. Lush. And this is not a topic to argue with with somebody else who tried locks, quote unquote, and then gave it up. Don't argue with them. Let them tell you their story and then keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't for them. And hey, not everybody can handle it, but it's an easy thing to take care of. Trust me. I've been doing it for a year now, which is not that long, but it's long enough to give up. I tell you that there's been several people give up way shorter than a year. So if you still in it and you year in, two years in, hey, I salute you. If you six months, five months, I still salute you because you got them. We just got to keep you pushing. Keep pushing. Look at that video up there. It say keep pushing. But like I said in the other videos in the past, I'm here to help you all grow your locks. Keep pushing. And hey, we in this together. One lock at a time. One subscriber at a time. We're growing locked in with Trey. And I cannot thank you guys enough. We on our road to a thousand. This year, we're going to hit a thousand. And I know I can do it with you guys. Hands down. So if you rocking with your boy, I need y'all to drop it down in the comments. Locked in. We locked in. Wakanda style. You feel me? And if you're not for sure, if you want to be locked in over here, locked in with Trey, hey, just go on and hit the subscribe button anyway, because you eventually going to come over to this side anyway. So go on and hit that subscribe button and we're going to keep the ball rolling. You feel? But anyways, guys and girls, that is it for this video. I don't want to be long winded or keep this video going on longer than it has to be. The moral of this whole topic is no, it is not hard to take care of dreadlocks. So keep pushing. Keep going. I'm rooting for you. Period. Huh. But you already know what it is. It's your boy Trey Smith bringing you love, peace, and prosperity forevermore throughout your life. Don't you forget it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, deuces.